Here's Prescott. Over the middle, fired, caught, C.D. Lamb, touchdown, Dallas. Here we go. Rams come with two blitzers. Prescott against it. Oh, Lamb, great catch, in stride, first down and more. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it will be. And considering, here's Prescott back to throw. Quick hitter over the middle. Lamb in traffic, makes the catch, still on his feet, down inside the 20. Third and eight, four-man rush. Prescott escapes. Rolling, looking, throwing, caught for the touchdown. Guess who? All right, all right, all right. Another week done. Week on to week nine. Uh, it's a good week, good start of the week. As you heard, Josh McDaniels got fired. GM got fired. Garoppolo got benched this morning. Life is good. Life is pretty, 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 pretty good. I mean, who knows? It might suck after this, but, hey, man, how they were doing, horrible, horrible, horrible. I, like I always said, man, <clears throat> a lot of the coaches that come under Bill Belichick are not great. Bill Belichick made so makes them look good. Yeah, but yeah, um, my bad. You know, just venting here. Setting early morning. You know, we're on to week nine. After a horrible um, week eight for me, had to vent a little bit about the struggles of my shitty ass team. Not just that team, but Packers too as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I'm gonna go over uh, last week's results, plot of the week, lowest score, highest score. I'll go over the position challenge, um, the standings, uh, and the matchups for <clears throat> the upcoming week. So, uh, for sure, let's get into it. All right, and here we go with the last week's results. We had Los Borrachos losing to the Enfuegos. 115 to 176. Fuck. Man, uh, a lot of our teams putting up single digit. Uh, a lot of our players putting up single digits, man, this week. Um, the Arab Sensations putting up 97 versus OG Men at 157. Los Tanks beating uh, Mike and the Boys, 187 to 144. The Nighthawk beating, barely beating. Uh, Rebel Scum, 156 to 154. Uh, Warhammers losing to the Rook, 117 to 181. So, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. A few of us are players, like I said, single digits. Rebel Scum, I feel bad for you, man. You know, fucking, <clears throat> you had it. Uh, Jerry Goff fucking up. I think it was that interception that could have done it for you. Plus the kneel downs that didn't help you at the end either. Um, pretty much it was a running game and Jameer Gibbs took over. I was this close to being blowout of the week. Um, but fuck. Yeah, fucking Devontae Adams. That's good thing they got McDaniels out of there. Hell yeah. Now he could feast, hopefully. A ver que. See how this offense looks with the new coaching staff. Um, yeah, man. Um, Mike and the boys coming down with his uh, points scoring. He was like on a, on a good tear for a bit. <clears throat> Those tanks you know, putting up big ass points. You know, I recommended uh, Warhammers to pick up Dak Prescott and start him, but he was too slow, and Los Tanks ended up picking up uh, Dak again and gave up 40-some points. Um, and was able to take down Mike and the boys with that. Um, Harris Sensations is not cracking 100. 
Hey man, it happens. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, I'll go over uh, low score, blowout of the week, and uh, high score, and the position challenge. Blowout of the week. All right, and our blowout of the week this week was the Warhammers. Versus the Rook by 63 points. Um, just uh, bad all around for uh, the Warhammers. Getting Warhammered. <laughs> uh, Matthew Stafford uh, putting up 16 points. He ended up getting injured. They took him out like in the third quarter. Cooper Cup with six points. It's been two weeks. They haven't. He hasn't put up points. Um struggling a bit and might continue to struggle with Matthew Stafford. He's still out with that thumb. Uh, Marquise Brown, 15 points. Uh, Rasheed White with uh, 19 points. Damian Pierce had high hopes for that guy coming in, but I don't know. I I figured it was going to be some sort of a timeshare. Uh, Last week was a bit of a fluke for him. Um, but, I mean, now he's, like, completely sharing uh, reps with um, Devin Singletary. Uh, Kittle, 25 points. Um, pretty good. With uh, if, But with Dewo coming back, I doubt he, uh, he continues that. Uh, Kevin Bourne put up 12, but he's on IR now. <clears throat> uh, Nico Collins. Uh, I thought it was going to be a great matchup against Carolina. I mean, I had Tank Dell. He gave me six points. So, yeah, it was just more of uh, the Rook overperforming on his team. A lot of 20s on his team. Could have been easily the highest scorer, but... Just by a few points. I think it's only five. Uh, moves uh, St. Brown to the bench. I get it. You know, he's added to the injury report on Sunday. I mean, on Saturday. Makes you think iffy about it. So you don't start him. But I don't think I would have started him over any of the other guys. Well, maybe born, but yeah, as far as um, Rasheed Rice, got some pretty good uh, wide receivers. So, yeah, I mean, hey, man, you could have been at 137 and not been blown of the week, but. You know, take my advice, man. It's like, why give you advice if you ain't going to listen? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, even if, I mean, four man, four points. If you had started him, would have got you the same as Pierce. I'm not sure how long uh, Khalil Herbert's going to be out for a bit. I mean, trade, de- trade deadline is coming up, so take a look out for that. Uh, but yeah, good luck next week. Hopefully, uh, team performs a little bit more. Looks like you're going to have to look for another QB. Um, maybe take a risk with, uh, Derek Carr, but we'll get into that with matchups. It just kind of is what it is. They beat us. They were the better football team today. Um, and I give them their props. Yeah, I mean, it kind of, like I said, it kind of is what it is. I mean, it's probably going to happen at some point. Um, but we try to do whatever we can to bounce back. That's all you can do. Um, you got to learn from the mistakes that you made this game. Um, try to be better um, going into Germany this next week. Um, and uh, kind of get the momentum back in our favor. Uh, obviously, uh, today wasn't our day, but we can continue to get better and better. All right, and our lowest score was the Arab Sensations. 
air of sensation the air of sensations making his second appearance on here um Patrick Mahomes shit in the bed he said he should have uh, he should have stayed home instead of uh going out there to watch uh, the Texans versus Diamondbacks I don't know I don't go fuck about baseball right now Dodgers aren't in it who gives a shit but apparently he went to a baseball game the night before, felt sick, and then comes out of here and shits the bed uh, with 10 points. Um, Stefan Diggs, you know, 18 points. That's good for a wide receiver. I mean, he was projected to put up 20, but it looked like they were trying to shut him down. They were the, that was the main focus was uh, shutting down Stefan Diggs. So I fucking Kincaid blew up for almost like 30 points or whatever. Um, George Pickens, nine points. Damn, one reception, 22 yards, and one touchdown. Uh, I mean, it could have been because the picket was out, but who knows. Uh, Warren, seven points. I mean, you don't really have a running back one. So that's kind of uh, what's hurting you a bit, too, here. Uh, Royce Freeman, he put up 10 points. I mean, he got the rushing touchdown. <clears throat> he should do well against uh, Green Bay. Fucking Green Bay can't stop anybody. Uh, Cole Komet with 19 points. Pretty much just getting 10 receptions. Damn. Not bad. <clears throat> it was pretty good, you know. A lot of uh, high-scoring uh, tight ends this week. Uh, Jerry Judy got in the end zone, 15 points. Um, Jerome Ford ended up playing, put up four points. That Philly defense, two points. Let's check out the bench. Um, Tyler Boyd, 13. Joku with 19. I mean, McLaughlin getting pushed back again now that they um seems like they've moved on to Javante Williams full um a full go um Debo Samuel is still out I mean and he has a bye this week so he should be back next week that'll help you out You could take advantage and put him into your IR, man, and pick up somebody else that can maybe give you a little bit more upside instead of just keeping him on your bench and hoping these other guys kind of give you more than that. But anyway, that's you, your team, your. Uh... I give you advice, you ain't going to listen. But yeah, uh, tough day. I mean,. Maybe if Mahomes had put up more points, uh, he, he probably will against uh, Miami this week coming up. But I don't know with Jalen Ramsey back and Xavier Howard back. I think they have a pretty good uh, corner tandem, and but we'll see see how that uh, that goes. So uh, good luck next week. High score of the week. And our highest scorer of the week is Los Tanks with 187 points. Uh, took my advice, picked up Dak Prescott, started him 40 points or his projected 23. Tyreek Kill did his did a little bit more than his projected at 27. CeeDee Lamb, 43 points, came back. They finally uh, just started throwing him the ball. Um, ETN uh, had a little scare there with the ankle. We'll see how he does coming off the bye. Should be fine, but 29 points. Um, what you call it? Uh, Swift, 16 points, pretty good. Uh, Kyle Pitts, 6 points. Uh, Taylor Heineke is starting again, so um, he might get might see more of those uh, 
targets going his way as Heineke wasn't targeting uh, Smith anymore. So it's all uh, Kyle Pitts. Um, Christian Kirk didn't do well, but, you know, you're still going to start him. The man's consistent. Uh, six points from Pacheco. Would have thought this would have been um, a good game for him, but it looks like the Denver defense is getting back to how it was uh, last year. Pretty tough defense. Uh, nine points from Buffalo. Um, Brock Purdy would have been decent had he, you started him anyways. 27 points. Michael Pittman, 18. I think with Gardner Minshew there, they're going to be throwing that ball a lot. It's crazy uh, how much Gardner Minshew is throwing the damn ball. Najee with 10. Yeah, my only... I mean, I didn't trust uh, Pittman versus New Orleans, but it looks like he might be just matchup proof at this point. Um... Yeah, man, not much I could say about your team. Fucking good shit. It said Prescott took my advice, started him. Prescott's looking better. Uh, we'll see how he does against uh, the Eagles. Um, but against a great matchup, I mean, against good matchups, he looks to be putting up points. So I don't see why I should uh, change for that. And then CeeDee Lamb coming back uh, to life. That stack right there, pretty good. And then Tyreek Hill. So, um, keeps you in first place. Good shit. Um, just keep it going. And last but not least, we got our position challenge. We had uh, the matchup between the Warhammers and the Rook, which was Cooper Cup versus Almond Ross St. Brown. And Jaden Waddle and Jamar Chase. Uh, Waddle and Chase won this one, even though he ended up switching out Brown with uh Marquise Brown with Amara St. Brown. Uh, still same results. It was the Cooper Cup only putting up six points that uh got him. The other player couldn't really uh carry him. Amara put up eighteen, but substituted with either Brown. Still would have lost. So uh, I believe Los Tanks and the Enfuegos voted for Cooper Cup and Amon Ra. So that's Chugs right there. Um, the pot should be at at least 120 at this point. We had 40 bucks from last weekend. Nobody chugged um, from the four. It was... Um, the Nighthawk uh, from week six that was extended. It was the Rebel Scum who didn't chug and the OG Man who didn't chug. And then from the week seven, blowout was uh, the Nighthawk who didn't chug. So that's 10. And then most points, <clears throat> he ended up choosing the Arab Sensations, which was a... Mm, the Enfuegos chose the Arab Sensation as Chug because he got the most points. Arab Sensations didn't Chug, so that's another 10. So that's, I said, 40 points extra. That should be at least our tail tailgate uh, ticket, at least one of them for our upcoming game. I haven't heard much about it, but I'm hoping it's in the works. Um um bottom four i think are in charge of that so let us know if we got to send you the cash get those tickets going or what's up or if you got to collect for the the chugs so we could buy those tickets and you know get this game going so done with that let me uh hit up uh the standings the league weekly standings all right <clears throat> so our standings as of week nine, we got in first place Los Tanks at seven and one. In second place, we got the Nighthawk at six and two. In third place, we have the Rook at four and four. In fourth place, we have OG Men at four and four. 
In fifth place, we have the Enfuegos at four and four. In sixth place, we have Los Borrachos at four and four. In seventh, we have the Arab Sensations at four and four. In eighth place, we have Mike and the Boys at three and five. In ninth place, we have the Rebel Scum at two and six. And in tenth place, we have the Warhammers at two and six. And yet to crack a uh, a thousand. Um, but yeah, man, tough. Uh, but we're all kind of close there from third all the way to seventh. Um, Mike and the boys, one more win, and he could shoot up that uh that ranking as far as points wise, as he pretty much has more the most points out of everyone from seventh all the way to second place. Um, Rebel Scum's getting up there in points. He has more points than seventh. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> then we're getting close to um uh, playoffs. I believe it's week fourteen is the last week for uh, before we head into playoffs. So I uh, just monitor everything, man. <clears throat> You know, time to look at the waiver wire, make some moves, do what you got to do, um, try to get up scoring. A lot of uh, buys and are going to stretch into kind of our, towards the end of our regular season. So just keep track of that. Try not to get blocked by somebody or pick up somebody. So, uh, yeah, on to next week, and I'll go over those matchups. Matchups of the week. All right. Like I said, on to week nine. New new week. Hopefully new outcomes. So uh, <clears throat> it'll be Los Borrachos uh, projected at 129 versus the Rebel Scum at 110. The Arab Sensations at 106 versus Mike and the Boys, 148. Los Tanks at 133. Versus the Rook at 140. OG Men at 131 versus the Nighthawk at 136. Warhammers at 114 versus the Enfuegos at 133. Um, so, yeah, a few, uh, few crazy uh, differentials as far as uh, projections, but I mean, projections don't really mean too much if your team ain't performing. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll take a look at them, each one, and uh, let's get started. All right. Uh, first up, our matchup is Los Borrachos, sixth place, projected at 129, versus the Rebel Scum in ninth place, projected at 110. Um, Los Borrachos is starting Josh Allen, Puka Nakua, Devontae Adams, Aaron Jones, Brees Hall, Dallas Goddard, Tank Dell. KJ Osborne and the Cleveland defense. Uh, Rebel Scum is starting uh, CJ Strout, Jordan Addison, uh, Deontay Johnson, uh, Jonathan Taylor, Kareem Hunt, Mark Andrews, Chris Olave. Left a flex open and the Chargers versus the Jets. Um, as far as Los Borrachos, you got Nakua struggling without uh, Matthew Stafford, hoping he plays. That could change it a bit, but if he doesn't, I got to temper expectations, but I'm still going to start him. Uh, Devontae Adams, same thing. A new quarterback, rookie quarterback, O'Connell. Uh, he targeted him a good amount the last time he played, but not very good targets. We'll see how that goes. Um, Aaron Jones, I can't quit Aaron Jones. Got to start him still. Hoping uh, Green Bay decides to fucking just unleash him, let him go out there. Fuck it. If he gets injured, he gets injured. Uh, Brees Hall, you know, he's been putting up great points. He's my only consistent guy out there right now. Um, Dallas Goddard had a down game last game against uh Dal I mean against uh Washington, 
figure Washington was a bad matchup for him. So I think he'll have a better matchup with uh, Dallas, especially with uh, Devonta Smith and A.J. Brown taking away um, with Dallas uh, paying more attention to them than to Goddard. Uh, Tank Dell, I think he just had a down game. I think he should come up, but debating on it because if starting Strout, I don't want to be cheering for Tank Dell to get points. Um, or do I? Maybe I get more points. Yeah, I get more points for receptions. You you don't get uh points for completions. Hmm. No, yeah. maybe I still ride with the tank tail. We'll see. Uh, KJ Osborne, I mean, with Hawk coming in, we'll see how that goes. I'm thinking it would be more of a running game against Atlanta instead of them trying to throw Cleveland versus Arizona. Arizona starting, uh, I think, Toon, I forgot his name, uh, a rookie uh, quarterback since they traded Josh Dobbs to uh, Minnesota. Still got Chuba Hubbard. I'm thinking Chuba Hubbard maybe start him over either of those guys. Zach Moss has been beasting. Put up 16 points last game. I I thought uh, <clears throat> Taylor would have taken over, but he's there. Just picked up uh, Demario Douglas. Hopefully he's doing well. He has a good matchup against Washington. They're giving up a lot of points. Uh, I got Montgomery on a bye. Um, Jefferson on IR. But, yeah, we'll see. I barely put up 114 last last week. You would have beat me had you played me. 150-something, I think you put up. 152 for 114. So, we'll see. Uh, Rebel Scum, CJ Stroud versus Tampa Bay. Tampa has a good defense, but, I mean... That rookie's been kind of balling out a bit. Came down last game. I don't think they want him throwing so much. That's why they try to do like a run game going. But Tampa Bay is tough against the run. So it looks like they might not have a choice but to uh, throw it. Uh, Addison, he might struggle a bit. Like I said, same thing with Osborne. Uh, They're starting Hall, uh, not Dobbs at quarterback. So... I was watching the end of that game against the Packers. He didn't look so good, but maybe a week of practice will help him out. Deontay Johnson versus Tennessee. That's a good play. You start your wide receivers against Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee has bad uh, corners, and they just got rid of uh, their best safety, so good matchup. Uh, Taylor against Carolina. Carolina has a, a horrible run defense. You wouldn't think it of last week, you know, um, with Pierce only putting up four points. But uh, before that, a lot of teams ran all over Carolina. So we'll see. Maybe they're playing better at defense, and it is going to be in Carolina. Um, Kareem Hunt versus Arizona. Arizona's been giving a lot of points to the running back. Looks like it's going to be a weather game, so... Usually, weather games are good for running backs because they don't throw much. Um, Andrews versus Seattle. I mean, Mark Andrews is Mark Andrews. You're going to start him. He always has a good matchup. He's always good for uh, touchdowns and whatnot. Olave versus Chicago. Finally, uh, I guess you have no choice pretty much uh, to start him. But he should do well. I mean, it's just him and Carr. Like I said, they're not really syncing it together. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, Carr prefers to throw it to Rashid Shahid. Um, I think last game they said uh, he threw it to him, hit him right in the helmet. Uh, they're just not syncing very well. Uh, as far as your two flex, I mean, Spears, I mean, that guy's been putting up some points, I believe. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really been paying attention to him. But uh, 
<clears throat> I mean, he put up six against uh, Atlanta, but that was a tough defense against good defense. I mean, against uh, easy defenses, looks like he puts up big points. Against Indy, he put up 16. I don't see why he wouldn't be able to put up double digits against uh, some of these. But, I mean, Miles Sanders you have on there, but he lost a lot of touches to Chuba Hubbard. And uh, Indy, they could be ran on. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll go back to a timeshare. Um Jamal Williams, you know, he's always good for a touchdown. He's getting a little bit more uh, carries also. But with um, maybe they get a big against Chicago and they just kind of run the ball with uh, Jamal Williams and don't run it with, uh, what's his name? Um, Alvin Kamara. Uh, Strong, I mean, I, I don't know what he did last game, but. Uh, not bad, nine points. I mean, with Ford kind of struggling, and I don't think they trust Kareem Hunt fully. I mean, why not? You know, you have Hunt, start them both. Fuck it. Um, or maybe there's someone on the wire you could pick up. But yeah, <laughs> kind of got you on a good week with McCaffrey, Ayuk on a bye. Um, so, yeah, man, good luck. Good luck to you. Good luck to me. Uh, that's all I got. All right, our next matchup is the Arab Sensations in seventh place, projected at 106, versus Mike and the Boys in eighth place, projected at 148. The Arab Sensation is starting Patrick Mahomes, Stefan Diggs, George Pickens, Jalen Warren. Uh, Royce Freeman, Cole Komet, Jerry Judy's on a bye, uh, Jacoby Ford, Jacoby Ford, <laughs> uh, Jerome Ford, Jacoby Ford used to be a punt returner for the Raiders, um, Philly defense, um, the Mike and the boys are starting Lamar Jackson. Devonta Smith, DK Metcalf, Alvin Kamara, Tony Pollard, Travis Kelsey, Raheem Mostert, Terry McLaurin, and the Minnesota defense. As far as uh, the Arab sensations, Dad Debo, like I said, on a bye. Uh, McLaughlin, he's losing touches to Williams, but I, so I wouldn't really trust him too much. Uh, picked up Jahan Dotson. Uh, maybe Boyd versus Buffalo. They're, uh, they should be in a little small shootout. Like I said, uh, Freeman should get... Uh, should run pretty well against uh, the Packers defense. Mahomes, I think he comes back against Miami. It should be a shootout between them. You know, Miami's going to put up points, so uh, Mahomes is going to have to also match up. Stefan Diggs is Stefan Diggs. He'll um he'll put up uh, points, and um against Cincinnati. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, George Pickens, like I said, with Deontay Johnson, you start your uh, wide receivers versus Tennessee. Uh, hopefully Pickett is under center. Uh, if not, I think Minchu should be okay. I got Minchu a pendejo. Um, Mitch Trubisky. My bad. Mitch Trubisky should start against uh, Jalen Warren. You know, he's... He'll get his touches. You're hoping for a touchdown. <clears throat> Tennessee, I think, is good against the run, but not good against uh, passing uh, running backs. Uh, Cole Komet against New Orleans. New Orleans tough against a tight end position. I mean, I know he got you 20 points last game, but 
who knows like, if it happens against New Orleans. Maybe they're up so they get up so big, let them think and dunk it. You get some receptions out of that. Make your way into like a 10 point game or something like that. <clears throat> and Jerome Ford um, against Arizona. Arizona's a easy defense. I don't see why he wouldn't get some points out of there. I just think this whole thing is going to be a timeshare at this point. So up to you if you want to start him. Again, Jerry Judy's on a bye. Hopefully you switch him out. Even with Jahan Dotson having a good matchup, he should continue. Like I said, he's gotten uh, at least eight targets in the last three games, so maybe he keeps it going. Uh, Philly against Dallas. I mean, having so many uh, defenses on on the waiver wire, I don't see why you wouldn't, like I said, put Debo on your IR. You could switch him there. Gives you, frizz you up a free spot on your bench. You could pick up one of those defenses. That's a better matchup. That way you're not getting two points from your defense. Because even if you think, oh, I'm going to lose at, at the end of it, points also matters because even if you're all even, uh, it'll go to the points, and most points you get, the the better. Uh, Mike and the boys, starting Lamar Jackson for Seattle. Uh, Seattle's uh, run defense has gotten better, so that works well for him. That way it's not Gus Edwards running all over the place like last game. Uh, Devonta Smith came back last game. Um. I said uh, this game versus Dallas should be a kind of a shootout, and uh, so it should be a good game for pretty much every uh, player on these both offenses. Uh, Metcalf versus Baltimore. I mean, you start Metcalf. He's 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 pretty elite, so you just start him. Camara versus Chicago. Um, I mean, Chicago's playing a little bit better, but he does catch the ball. I mean, they almost shut down Eckler, but Eckler did it all on catches and stuff like that, so that should be good for him. Um, Tony Pollard against Philly. It's kind of hard to trust Pollard at this point. He's not getting the touches. He doesn't run between the tackles. Philly's good against the run. Um, last game, Washington uh, kind of abandoned the run at, at the whole game and just threw the ball against him. And they almost beat him. So maybe Dallas looks at this and thinks that way. Um, Travis Kelsey. I doubt uh, Taylor Swift is going to go to Germany to watch him play. So temper expectation, man. You saw what happened last game. She didn't go to Denver. Uh, Raheem Mostert. You know, you start him. He's going to be pretty good. That offense is good. Uh, Terry McLaurin versus Washington, like I said, uh, with Dotson, New England gives up a lot of points to the wide receiver. Minnesota against Atlanta, Minnesota's been playing pretty well the last few games. Um, they're gonna start Heineke. Heineke's known to throw in interceptions and take some sacks. Uh, he's starting over Ritter. Let's see. Oh, you picked up McBride. I was wondering who had him. Um, but yeah, no one really. I would move on your on your roster. Uh, maybe the Tony Pollard. Like I'll wait and see. Like I said, tough defense. Maybe put Moster into that second RB spot. Maybe Michael Thomas, or maybe just start McBride. <laughs> He's getting the targets and stuff, but I'm not sure how he'll look with that new uh, rookie throwing to him. But uh, we'll see how this goes for you guys. Good luck to both of you. All right. Another matchup we have Los Tanks in first place, projected at 133, versus a Rook in third place, projected at 140. Uh, Los Tanks is starting Dak Prescott, Tyreek Hill, CeeDee Lamb, <clears throat> DeAndre Swift, 
uh, Isaiah Pacheco, Kyle Pitts, Michael Pittman, Najee Harris, and the Buffalo defense. Um, the Rook is starting Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Jay Waddle, uh, Josh Jacobs, Brian Robinson, uh, TJ Hawkinson, DJ Moore, Drake London, and the Atlanta defense. All right. Uh, like I said, with the uh, Dallas going up against Philly, they're they suck against uh, the pass. So I think Prescott and Ceedee Lamb could have another big game. Uh, I know KC is playing better, but I mean Tyreek Hill is gonna Tyreek Hill. Uh, Swift versus Dallas. Um, they're okay against the run. Uh, they gave up a bit. Uh to Henderson and Royce Freeman. So I think Swift could play, I mean, could do well, especially against, um, especially with that offensive line. Uh, Pacheco versus Miami. Miami uh, has been leaky against the run, so <clears throat> I think he should get some good run on there. Uh, what you don't want is Miami to get up by so much that it's McKinnon. Um. Cal Pitts, like I said, Tyler Heineke's coming back in. He doesn't target uh, Jonah Smith as much as you saw last game. He's a bit more uh, Cal Pitts, so that should be well for him. Um, Michael Pittman versus Carolina, I think that should be a good match for him. I expect a lot of uh, throwing from them. Uh, Najee Harris, like I said, uh, Tennessee is pretty good against uh against the run, and he's not catching pretty much passes, so he might struggle a bit. Uh, Buffalo against Cincinnati, I mean, up to you, but hopefully this time the game doesn't get canceled. Ew. too soon, too soon. Uh, damn, got pretty much everyone on on by here. Uh, Christian Kirk, Travis Etienne, Brock Purdy. Josh Reynolds and then Fields um is out still. Um I mean maybe Stevenson versus Washington. They just got rid of two of their best uh defensive linemen. So I don't think they're that good against the run anymore with them being out. Uh my bad, just got uh, some notifications. Uh looks like Jerick McKinnon is dealing with a groin, so there goes my um, whole thing about him uh, maybe blowing up in this game. But who knows? Maybe it's just, you know, it is Wednesday. So we'll see how the week goes, but maybe it'll be all Pacheco if uh, McKinnon can't go. Uh, as far as uh, the Rook, these are the two high scoring teams last week. I said one I think one was like 176 and one was 180 something. No, 181 to 186. There you go. Like a five point difference. This might be a high scoring thing. You know, Joe Burrow going up against Buffalo, Jamar Chase against Buffalo. That should be also a shootout. I mean, it looks like it's a weather game. Some says some showers. But we'll see. It's a Sunday night game. Should be a good one. Waddle against KC. If they try to move everything towards Hill, that'll be Waddle. Uh, Jacobs. I mean, Brees Hall just ran pretty well against uh, the Giants. So I think that should be a good matchup. And they're at home. Robinson versus uh, New England. I mean... I think they're pretty good against the run. I'm not sure. But he hasn't been doing well the last few games. But, I mean, you got to start him. You got to start him. Hawkinson, I think he he might benefit a little bit more from uh, <clears throat> the rookie. They say uh, rookies usually throw more to the tight end position. So that should be well for him. DJ Moore against New Orleans. He knows them well. You know, they played in the same division for a while. So, I mean, DJ Moore has been putting up points. He's getting some of the targets. 
Uh, Drake London, like I said, he should do well with Taylor Heineke. Heineke usually airs it out a little bit more than anybody else. Well, then Pickett. I mean, Pickett. Uh, Ritter. My bad. Uh, Atlanta versus Minnesota. I mean, that's a good matchup. Like I said, the rookies be playing there. I mean, I thought the same last game, and Will Levis uh, fucking threw it for four touchdowns and I don't know how many yards. Because like they said, Arthur Smith doesn't care about our, uh, whatchamacallit, fantasy. Um, you got a chain on IR <clears throat> should be back. I think next week or week 11. Mm, don't quite remember. Uh, maybe Charbonnet over, uh, Robinson. You know, if, uh, Walker can't go and plus, uh, you could run on Baltimore. Also they're against receptions. They get more receptions as far as, uh, running backs. Maybe Cam Akers looks like he's kind of taking over that spot. He scored the touchdown last game against uh, the the Packers. Maybe they try and take off. Uh, they try to run the offense through the run game a little bit. Maybe with Madison and Akers. Just a thought. Just in case you know, where Robinson just to give it a second thought. But. And yeah, up to you. Good luck, guys. We'll be looking at your matchup. I bet uh, maybe Rook could move up a little higher and maybe give Los Tanks uh, his second loss of the season. So good luck. All right. And our next matchup, we have OG Men in fourth place, projected at 131, versus the Nighthawk, second place, projected at 136. Uh, OG Men is starting Will Levis. Will Levis, or did I just make that up? Will Levis going with the rookie against Pittsburgh. Uh, A.J. Brown, Chris Godwin, uh, Kenneth Walker, Austin Eckler, Darren Waller, uh, Joe Mixon, DeAndre Hopkins, and the Vegas defense. Okay. Uh, the Nighthawk is starting Justin Herbert. Keenan Allen, Adam Thielen, uh, B. John Robinson, uh, Derrick Henry, Don Schultz, uh, T. Higgins, Joshua Downs, and the New Orleans defense. Uh, Will Levis coming off of a four-touchdown game. That's pretty good. Uh, I mean, you could throw on Pittsburgh. Uh, so it should be a good game for him. I mean, short week, uh, but I think he could do it. Surprise everybody against a pretty good Atlanta defense. I think they're third as far as rating uh, Atlanta. So pretty big gamble, but you got looks like you got Trevor Lawrence on the bye. Um, AJ Brown fucking beasting this year at least 100 and something after he complained that one week started just handing him the ball Godwin against Houston that should be a good matchup for him uh, Walker versus Baltimore um, hopefully he's healthy I haven't heard anything as far as him like anything lingering from last week, but I know that's why he kind of struggled last week. Uh, Austin Eckler against the Jets. I mean, they're good against the run, but he catches the ball, gets a lot of targets coming out of the backfield. So <clears throat> he should do well. I mean, it's Austin Eckler. Uh, Waller, I mean, I just saw that he's not practicing uh, today, so probably monitor that as far as – uh. Kind of what you, if you want to risk it and start him. Uh, Joe Mixon finally came back after uh, not scoring and stuff uh, before coming off the bye. And again, this this one should also be, uh, 
shootout with uh, Buffalo. Buffalo's a little bit tougher defense, but I'm sure uh, Joe Mixon can do it. He gets those touches. Hopkins against Pittsburgh. Uh, Three touchdown game last game. I mean, I don't think that should be in the books for him, but maybe at least one a deep throw and Hopkins looks pretty good out there. He's still out there moving, so do well. Uh Las Vegas versus the Giants. I mean new new uh new coach, new management, new everything. Uh the coach is a defensive coach. He played defense for the Giants. I think he was a linebacker. So might be good for him. Like I said, you got Lawrence on a bye, Calvin Ridley on a bye. Well, Ridley wasn't really doing much, so I uh, got the Niners defense on a bye. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill. I mean, he's been getting runs and stuff in close to the end zone. He's catching passes also. Who knows? Uh, Jacoby Myers, you have the luxury of being able to sit him. Uh, Gus Edwards versus Seattle, like I said, have a good uh, run defense, but I wouldn't start him over any of the guys that you already kind of have on here. All right, and for the Nighthawk, uh, Herbert against the Jets might be a tough matchup. Same thing for Keenan Allen. Um, I saw his Gardner out there, but Keenan Allen moves around a bit, so it won't just be him on the edge. He'll probably come in the slot. But they have a pretty good uh, tandem with their uh, corners, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully his finger feels better. Looks like it's supposed to be a weather game also. It's a 78 chance of precipitation. And with a fucked up finger, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, Adam Thielen versus uh, Indy. That might be a little shootout also. Uh, didn't get as much targets that he as he was used to. They started using uh, Mingo a little bit more this past game. Him back uh, coming off of injury. I think DJ Chark got involved. Uh, but, I mean, he's still putting a point, so uh, good play there. Uh, Bijan, <laughs> honestly, I, I've i never seen a Hawks, a Hawks, uh, Atlanta game. So I can't really tell you much. I just, I'm just going off of what I see, uh, people posting or people talking about uh, how he's not really being used because Arthur Smith doesn't care about your fantasy team. So um, you just start him and hope that he gets unleashed, hopefully like Gibbs, you know. Like Jameer Gibbs did. Uh, Derrick Henry, you know, he's going to run out there. Uh, I'm sure Tennessee is probably going to shut down the run and and hope. Uh, I mean, uh, Pittsburgh is going to try and uh, shut down the run and see if the rookie could beat him throwing the ball. But, I mean, Lee. Uh, Levis has shown that he could throw the ball. I'm not sure how they're going to play it. I mean, Mike Tomlin, good uh, coach, so he'll figure it out. Uh, Dalton Schultz versus Tampa Bay. Just saw Kincaid put up uh, big numbers against them, so should be a good matchup for him. Uh, T. Higgins versus Buffalo. Like I said, that should be a little shootout game. If they focus more on Chase, maybe uh, Higgins will be able to sneak through. Uh, Josh Downs, I mean, he's been solid pretty much all season now, especially with Gardner Minshew under center against Carolina. Uh, good matchup for him. And obviously any defense against Chicago, except for the Raiders. Uh, what's his name? Baggett? Baggett? Um, the quarterback for the Chicago still, uh, looking not, looking like a rookie. Got Laporte on a bye, Ingram on a bye, <laughs> uh, Cotter on IR, and sitting uh, Gabriel Davis, DeMarcado against Cleveland. That's a tough defense. Yeah, I mean, uh, 
really anyone I would switch switch out. Just uh, make sure they perform. Like I said, it's just more of temper expectations with uh, the Chargers playing a tough uh, Jets defense. But, uh, yeah, good luck to both of you. We'll see. Uh, Not how squeaking by with uh, those easy, like, little wins. So we'll see uh, how this week goes. All right, in our last matchup, we have the Warhammers in 10th place, projected at 114, versus the Enfuegos in 5th place, projected at 133. So the Warhammers... uh, Yeah, picked up Derek Carr. Against Chicago, uh, starring Derek Carr, Cooper Cup, um, Marquise Brown, Rasheed White, Damian Pierce, uh, Mayer, Michael Mayer, uh, tight end, Nico Collins, Rasheed Rice, and the Pittsburgh defense. <clears throat> the, the Enfuegos are starring Jalen Hurts. Zay Flowers, Gary Wilson, Saquon Barkley, James Cook, Don Kincaid, Mike Evans, Amari Cooper, and the Cowboy defense. Um, let's see. The Warhammers, pretty good matchup with Derek Carr against Chicago. They're at home. Should be a good matchup. Should be a good matchup for him. Um, starting Cooper Cup against Green Bay. I'm with you on the same boat with Puka Nakua. You know, we just got to temper expectations because we don't know if it's, even if it's not uh, Matthew Stafford, that backup um, quarterback's not too good. Marquise Brown at Cleveland. Like I said, I don't know about Toons. I don't I mean, Brown should get his targets, but whether he gets it to him or not, that's another difference. Cleveland's a pretty good defense. Uh, White versus Houston. Houston has a pretty leaky uh, run defense, so that should be good for him. Um, Damian Pierce versus Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay has a tough uh, run defense. Um, but we'll see. Uh, maybe he gets a goal line touch and they actually give him the touchdown instead of to the it, uh, fullback fucking vulturing. Uh, Nico Collins uh, should have a bounce back game against uh, Tampa Bay. Uh, Rasheed Rice, like I said, it might be a shootout with Miami. <clears throat> 10 points. Yeah, should be about it. Uh, Pittsburgh versus Tennessee. Like I said, Le- Will Levis is still, still a rookie. I don't doubt uh, plus Pittsburgh's at home. I'm sure Mike Tomlin could think of something to kind of shut him down. Got George Kittle on a bye. I'm on Ross St. Brown on a bye. Watson seems like he's on a bye. <clears throat> Deontay Foreman uh, against New Orleans. New Orleans is a tough uh, run defense. Picked up uh, Dowdle. But like I said, uh, Philly, tough run defense. Kyle Murray and Khalil Herbert on, uh, on IR. Yeah, I'd keep... Your defense, how it is. Um, I don't know if I trust Mayer at your tight end, but I said maybe you heard something I didn't. Why even give you advice? You're not going to listen. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> as far as the Enfuegos, you got Jalen Hurts against Dallas. Does a tough defense, but you know Hurts does it with his legs. Runs around, shit like that. Scores touchdowns. Um, Zay Flowers versus Seattle. I mean, he's going to get his targets. Uh, didn't do well last game, but I'm sure against Seattle he'll do a little bit better. Last game they didn't have to throw. It was just more of a, a Gus Edwards game, and they just ran all over them. So I think this one should be a little bit closer, and they'll, they'll probably need to throw. Uh, Garrett Wilson, I mean, he's going to get the targets against the Chargers. Like I said, it's going to be a rainy day, but, I mean, he got the targets against um, 
the Giants, and it was also a rainy game. Uh, Barkley against Las Vegas. I mean, you just saw what Gibbs did to fucking Las Vegas. I don't doubt they could probably do the same thing to him. I mean, but who knows? Maybe the Raiders come back rejuvenated because they have a new quarterback and shut them down, but not likely. Uh, James Cook for Cincinnati. If it's a shootout, I mean, he'll get the targets coming out of the backfield. He'll get receptions and stuff like that. Kincaid, he did well against uh, Tampa Bay last game. Uh, I'm not sure if the other tight end was going to come back, but if he does, he might not get as much targets as he did last game. Last game, he was the only tight end um, active for the game, so that's why. Mike Evans, fucking Mike Evans, uh, to get you those points in one in one fucking play. So he should have a good matchup against Houston. Uh, Cooper, he's at home. You play him. The only time you don't play him was when he doesn't play at home. Dallas versus Philly. I mean, Philly is a good, like I said, is a good offense. You have his quarterback, so you should know. Um, I saw you flip flopping between the Giants, Pittsburgh, and all these. Um, last time you started, I believe Washington, and they gave you less points than the Cowboys defense did. Um, but like I said, Gi- Giants defense has been playing pretty good the last few games. I take a flyer on them, start them, fuck it. Um, and I mean, no one else I would move into your starting lineup besides that. You got uh, Kyron Williams on IR, but you got Henderson. I said uh, Green Bay has a leaky uh, run defense, so, but I wouldn't start him over any of the other guys. That you got. I got Gibbs on a bye. Fucking Gibbs. Uh, But yeah, man. um, Good luck to both of you. Um, Hopefully you get a win, Warhammers. But I don't know. As far as uh, how your team looks, it's not looking pretty good. Unless you have a good blow-up game from one of them. Uh, But yeah, like I said, good luck. To both. All right, and that's it for me. Just before I go, I want to bring up a few things. As far as uh, the game, like I had said, um, are we still doing November 26th? That way we could start getting kind of shit together. Um, uh, maybe, you know, collecting the cash for the, for the tickets and stuff like that before they go up any higher. Or if we're moving it to another date. A ver que. Uh, bottom four, looking at you guys. See uh, what you guys uh, come up with. I uh, saw so you put it up. You put up the post about um, voting for it. Looks like the one that got the most votes was that date was November twenty six. Um, another thing. Uh, to, speaking of the bottom four, uh, Rebel Scum. When we're gonna see those punishments? Should we just designate one day that you're free on a Sunday and then just try to hit them all all at once or? But what are we doing here? Um, as long as majority of us are there to witnesses, I think it should be fine. It uh, doesn't have to be everybody. Or maybe we do it at the tailgate and just do most of them or take care of most of them. Um, also, uh, just a reminder that Sunday, the our clocks go back an hour, so we lose an hour. Set your clocks. Like I said, we have a Germany game that morning at 6 a.m. Just in case you guys got players on that on those teams and you just need to double check if they're going to be healthy and be able to jump in there. Um, también uh, tomorrow, Dia de los Muertos. Uh, you know, it's a, to remember those loved ones that have passed. Y just to remember them, never forgotten, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, good luck, bitches. Uh, talk to you motherfuckers later.
Peace out.